Starts off with a ball down low. 1-0. All right, folks, I think we got it. I think we got it. All right, cool deal, cool deal. Apologize, I apologize. So we got a one-two count, one out here. Uh, we got a runner at first. We got it all fixed up. It's, I had to rush today, and it's just aggravating me, so I apologize. So here we go. Runner goes to second, throw down, throws it out to center field. Runner's going to hang out right there at second base. But that's going to be an out. So Austin Payne comes up for Ascension Catholic Bulldogs here. Dallas Moran, the pitcher on the mound for the Gators. Mr. Barry, uh, that was a long day. I've been on a uh, on an airplane most of the day, so <laughs> and at a doctor's office, so. Uh, I apologize. So, swing and a miss. Takes first pitch. Swinging for a strike. So, 0 1 count here. Who's this kid? Austin Pay? Yeah. Austin Pay. So, 0 1 count, two outs. Top of the second inning. Takes that one for a ball. Gators leading here, 0-0. Zero, zero on this beautiful, best-looking turf I've ever seen. I mean, this is the best field ever. I mean, yeah, the outfield got some work to do, but uh, that's because it was toe up. Ball hit right field, real high, though. Going to be camping out, makes the grab, out number three. We go to the bottom of the second inning here. Gators leading the Ascension Catholic Bulldogs by a score of 0-0. Zero, zero. Diversion Dental, Dr. David Brown. Conveniently located on the Diversion Canal, Dr. David is a Santa High and LSU graduate where he was a member of the Golden Gator Band and the Golden Band from Tigerland, providing all general dentistry needs except for braces. Diversion Dental is accepting new patients and accepts most major insurance plans. Call Kayla today and schedule your next appointment with Dr. David Brown at 698-3728. Diversion Dental, proud sponsor of DSN and your Santa Mall Gators. Duck Roost Seafood and Deli, conveniently located on the corner of Black Bayou Road and 431 in Santa Mall. Come check out their daily breakfast and lunch plate menus, including po' boys, burgers, seafood platters, wraps, and more. Dine in or take out. They also have ball seafood, raw and ball peanuts, boudin boudin balls, crackling, meat pies, and more. Served hot daily. Give them a call at 647-0488 or come see owner David Rock, proud Santa Mall Gator alum. Duck Roost Seafood and Deli, proud sponsor of DSN and your Santa Mall Gators. All right. Oh, here's your thing. Who's that? Number nine. This is Trent Laporte leading off here for the Gators. Gotta get back. There you go. 
Number nine. Takes first pitch for a ball. Ball hits shortstop. Shortstop feels the ball, throws the first, and gets the out. For out number one. So it's a bring out number 22, Braden Billingsley for the Gators. There ain't nothing going on at first and third bases, y'all. When it happens at first and third, I'll, 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 I'll pan it over, okay? This is the way we run it over here. So we want to see up close the, the pitches. We want to see the pitches. I don't want to see a bunch of little ants out there. So 2-0 count. I ain't trying to be ugly. I'm just saying that's the way we do it over here. Takes for a strike. So 2-1 count. And runs the count now, 3-1. So 3-1 count, one out. We're in the bottom of the second inning. 0-0 zero, zero score. And he's going to draw the walk. Gonna bring up number 33, Isaiah Omiot. Squares around for bunt, pulls back, ball. They throw it back to first. He's back in time, though. So 1 0 count on Omiot. Takes that one on the outside corner. Evens the count here 1 1. Steps off. On the mound there is Bry Leonard. Uh, Bryce, Bryce Leonard, I guess his name. Squares around, bunts, and it's going to be foul. So count, count's going to be one, two here. Oh, takes it high and in. Evens the count here, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, good pitch. Rings him up. So two outs now. Runner at first. It's going to bring up number 32, Chase Kelly. So two outs now. Runner at first. Takes for a strike. Each team with one hit so far in the game. Takes for a strike. So 0-2.
Ball hit center field. Center field is coming up. Makes the grab for out number three. So we head to the top of the third. Score still 0-0. Zero, zero. Highway 44, paint, body, and towing for all your automotive body repair needs. Located on Highway 44 in Gonzales between Highway 621 and Black Bayou Road. Locally owned and operated by Wayne and Ryan Wimberly since 1989. They repair all makes and models, foreign or domestic. They work with all major insurance companies and towing is available upon request. Highway 44, paint, body, and towing. Proud sponsor of Duck Crew Sports and your Santa Mall Gators. Glaze Heating and Air. Are you looking to replace your heating and air conditioning system? Look no further than Glaze Heating and Air. Locally owned and operated by Dean and Ursula Glaze. For over 20 years, Glaze Heating and Air has maintained a professional and top-notch reputation with quality installations, unmatched customer service with great warranties and several financing options available. Hurry and call at 225-266-7371 today to schedule a free estimate for the best deal or go online to glazeheatingandair.com. Glaze Heating and Air, proud sponsor of Duck Roo Sports and your Santa Mar Gators. So, leading off here for the Bulldogs, Jake Landry. <laughs> I know who Jake takes first pitch for a strike. I saw his little brother Andrew the other day at the ballpark. I didn't get a chance to see uh, Jake, though. I didn't get to see uh, mom and daddy either. Swing and a miss. Oh, Bert. So, any of those Landry fans out there watching, how y'all do? All right, ball hit the shortstop. Shortstop feels the ball on me out to first and makes the out. So, one out. So, it's going to bring up number 11, Lex Malonson for the Bulldogs. Back at the top of their lineup. Takes for a ball. Maxed out. Ball hit. Right center field. It's going to fall in. He's taking one. He's going to stand up. Oh, he's going to see. Oh, he's checking up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He says he's going to go ahead and stay right there, too. So double there for for Malonso. Now about a shortstop of the thirteen, Brooks Leonard. It's gonna bring up Brooks Leonard here for the Bulldogs. Ain't this like the first year that? They don't have three Leonard's playing at the, all at the same time. <laughs> all right, so Brooks Leonard. Attempted pickoff, ball goes out in the center field. Something, I gotta fix it. There we go. So, oh, oh, count here. Fouls it back on the Church Point Road. So, oh, one. Don't forget, folks, at the top of the page, we have our Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App links. Um, I don't know if they links or not, but that's our, our names or whatever, you know, at Duck Roo Sports, at all of them. All money collected goes to the Santa Monica High School Athletic De Department, supporting all the sports at Santa Monica High School as he swings and misses for 0-2 count here. If you make the donation, I'll call your name out. So who's going to be the winner tonight? Swing and a miss, strike three. So two outs here. 
the top of the third, man, everybody Leonard, Bryce Leonard this time. <laughs> three Landers, two Leonard. Three Landers, yeah, man. I think they got three families out there. <laughs> so, it's the other Leonard boy. Bryce. Got a runner at second with two outs here. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss again. So 0 2 count here. So Moran gets ahead here on Leonard with a 0-2 count. Pretty good crowd here tonight, folks, for our opening night. Fouls that one on the – oh, it hits the, the big old light pole. I ain't ever seen one hit the light pole and it comes right back into play. He should have caught it, man. We, called, we, should, we could have argued that. <laughs> it, was, it was in the field of play. <laughs> So 2 count here. At least it saves somebody's windshield. <clears throat> ben, I think you full of crap. So how about that? <laughs> no, the sound, I think the sound's off. I think your sound might be off, Miss Nickens. Not a bad pitch right there. See, try to get him chasing. So, one, two count. I'll look on my end. If I hear it, then it's going to be on you. Let me see. Let me, let me, let me see. Right no, nope. I could hear it. Fouls that one on the Church Point Road. So, one, two count. Curveball sits on it. He sends that one to the right center field. It's going to fall for a base hit. It's going to score a run. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna stand up right there at second for a double. So, Ascension Catholic goes up here. One nothing with a stand-up double. Now that in first base number 20, Jacques. As Jacques Husers comes up to bat for the Bulldogs. Courtesy runner at second base for the Bulldogs, number eight, Peyton Dunn. Peyton Dunn, courtesy running at second. Fouls that one off. Stacy Bourgeois, thank you for your contribution and support of Santa Mall Gator Athletics. Stacy Ricca, thank you for your contribution and support of Santa Mall Gator Athletics. Christine Brignac, thank you for your contribution and support of Santa Mall Gator Athletics. Oh, that's going to be a balk or something. Did he call time? I don't know what went on. Why, because he put his hand up or something? Uh, they're going to be discussing it.
Those of you that just donated, Christine, Brignac, Stacy, Ricka, Stacy Bourgeois, thank y'all, thank y'all. Y'all contributions do not go unnoticed. Um, we do appreciate it. Um, folks, any money that we raise, that go, it, it all goes to the athletic department. Uh, it helps. It's a good little helps with helps with a little supplement. We are still chasing our tails in the athletic department uh, from the COVID year. You know when uh, when the cash cow of football couldn't sell their their season tickets. So any contributions is much appreciated. So oh one count here. Fouls that one to Church Point. Tune in live Thursday night right here on Duck Roo Sports. Uh, Sherry Jenkins and uh, James LeBlanc and them, the Booster Club, will be going live right here on the Duck Roo Sports Network with the virtual extravaganza. If you bought one of your extravag an extravaganza ticket, tune in and see if you're going to be the big winner. Fouls that one back into the net. If you didn't buy one, y'all need to get with me like ASAP. Because we can get you a ticket. I'm pretty sure that we're pretty close to being almost sold out, but we need to get them sold out. So shoot me a message or what have you, and I'll get you in touch with Coach Oliver. That way you can have a chance at $5,000 or $2,000 or $1,000 or one of the other prizes, of monetary prizes. But the main, the main big one, number one, first place is $5,000. What's wrong? Is umpire drunk? Bro, like he got, like he must have called a dizzy spell. He might be dehydrated, stood up too fast, and got dizzy or something. Somebody needs to check his blood pressure. Looked like he was kind of cagou. Sticks the bat out there and fouls it back into the net. Count's going to stay 0-2 here with two outs. We're in the top of the third inning. Ascension, uh, cast, uh, Ascension Catholic. Leading our Gators of a score of one to zero. Hits one right field. Right field is going back, back, back. He's running back. It's going to hit the base of the wall. It's going to play the run. And that's going to be another double. And we're going to have a conversation. Looks like Coach Artigo wanting to go have a talk. And as he does, we'll take a little brief time out, and we'll be right back. Ascension Gutters for all your gutter needs. Specializing in installing 6-inch seamless gutters with over 20 colors to choose from. They also clean and repair gutters and install leaf guards. Locally owned and operated by Fabian and Wanda Duco and Billy Brooks, all of Santa Mall. Give them a call today at 647-0404. Ascension Gutters, proud sponsor of Duck Crew Sports and your Santa Mall Gators. All right. How about a right field number 15, Jackson Landry? So Jackson Landry up here for the Bulldogs. Curveball fouls it off left side. So one count. Arthur Downing, thank you so much for your contribution and support of Santa Mall Gator Athletics. So 0 1 count here. Takes for a ball. Evens the count 1 1. Kelsey, I mean, I could, but I mean, I'd have to run all the way to my truck to get my blood pressure cuff and all. And like, I'm off right now. <laughs> So here we go. Oh, got a timeout. 
Hurry up, something. He just said, he said something. I don't know what Mr. Blue said. Takes for a ball outside. So count runs 2 1. Takes for a strike, evens the count, 2-2. Two -two. So 2-2 two -two count, two outs on 2-22-22. Two, Curveball. Called, strike three. And we head to the bottom of the third. Ascension Catholic leading our Gators. Two to zero. A Bear Steel Company, located on Highway 74 in Gonzales, for all your structural steel fabrication needs. They fabricate pipe racks, platforms, handrails, ladders, and numerous other steel products. They perform work for chemical plants and refineries and also industrial contractors. Call Sean A Bear today at 644 5316. A Bear Steel Company, proud supporter of DSN and our Santa Mall Gators. Max Brown, the Harris Center, serving Ascension Parish for over 48 years. Conveniently located on Weber City Road on his childhood property, where he moved his shop in 2009 from downtown Gonzales. Max Brown has always been a proud supporter of our local public schools and their athletic teams. Give Max Brown a call at 647-4276 and schedule your next hair appointment. Max Brown, the Harris Center, proud sponsor of DSN and your Santa Mall Gators. The Ray Broussard Team. Buying or selling your home? Give the Ray Broussard Team at Keller Williams Realty First Choice in Prairieville a call to schedule a free buying or listing consult. They work with buyers and sellers at all price points. Are you a first-time home buyer? A buyer specialist on the team would love to help you get into a home with no down payment. Considered selling? Schedule a listing consult to see what your home could sell for in today's market. Call the Ray Broussard Team at Keller Williams First Choice for all your real estate needs. Proud sponsor of DSN and your Santa Mall Gators. Leading off here for the Gators in the bottom of the third, number 24, Cameron Planch. Gonna take first pitch for a ball. Bryce Leonard still on the mound for the Bulldogs. See, takes a, takes for a strike, evens the count, 1-1. One, one. Runs the count here, one, two, on Planche. Hits the ball, third base, third baseman feels the ball, throws the first, and that's gonna be the first out here in the bottom of the third. Next up for the Gators is gonna be number 10, Cole Poirier. Little check swing, takes for a strike, 0-1 count. Jennifer Daniel, thank you for your contribution and support of Santa Mar Gator Athletics. Fouls that one back, runs the count here, 0-2. Fouls that one. Count's going to stay 0-2. Wind blowing from right to left field. You can see the flag back there in the, in the background waving off to the left. Takes for strike three. So two outs now here. That's going to bring up number 25, Lee Amade. Mm -hmm. 
Fouls that one. Woo! They, they better watch out. There's like a bullet coming over there down the first base line. That poor coach over there, all he could do was just curl up almost. I mean, he just, it was, it, it had to come off the bat at least 180 miles an hour. Curveball leaves it high for a ball. It's, Evens the count here, 1-1. One, one. So 2-1 count. Fouls that one on the hands. Might have hit his hand. Oh, hit the something. Takes for a ball. Fills the count up here. Draws the walk. So let me see if we can get a little bit of first base action here so y'all can see. I might have to. So it's number 11 for the Gators, Blaze Lalonde. It's going be a little, a little crooked, y'all, but a little sideways, but that way you get a little action in there. And he's safe at, safe at first. I mean, at second, I mean. I don't know what he's in. So, 2 0 count here. Who's. This is Lalonde? Yep. Still, yeah, still Blaze Lalonde. Takes for a ball. 3 0. So runners on first and second now. So I'm bringing up number 18, Ashton Ellis. And coach is going to have a timeout, go talk to his pitcher. So we'll be right back. There's something about you. You want to make a difference. You're smart, curious, ready for a change. That same spirit is how Franciscan Missionaries of Our Lady University was born. With degree levels ranging from associate to doctoral, FranU offers an opportunity to find your future and a place to discover your calling. At Franciscan Missionaries of Our Lady University, there's something about you.
Sorry, y'all. Sound. We back on. Sorry about that. I forgot to hit the button. Y'all know Chuck's going to have technical difficulty every time. Ball hits shortstop. Shortstop feels the ball, flips over to second base, and that's out number three. So Gators leave two on. We head to the top of the fourth inning. Uh, Sitchin Catholic leading the Gators here, 2-0. Bonneville Foods, owned and operated by Gator A alum Eric Bonneville, specializing in barbecue pork skins, beef jerky, old-fashioned meat cracklings, regular crackling, seasoned cracklings, and Creole seasoning. Give Eric a call at 644-4437 or go online at BonnevilleFoods.com. Bonneville Foods, proud sponsor of DSN and your Santa Mall Gators. All right, leading off here for the for the Bulldogs got number ten, Leighton Malanson. Yes, sir, Mr. Mike. So Malanson gonna take for ball one. Fouls it off to Church Point. That must be at least 20 balls on Church Point Road. Hey, we got to increase our budget for dang on, uh, for balls. Takes for a strike inside. So, one two count here. I'm just letting y'all know after the three outs. I'm going to rush down and get me a Coke and come back. So if I'm a little bit behind, I'm sorry. Curveball, swing and a miss. Drops, going to be throw the first. Gets the out. So drop third strike for the out at first. So let's bring up number two, Colin Brown here for the Bulldogs. We're here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Gators trailing 2-0 as Brown takes for ball one. And takes for ball two. So 2-0 -oh count here. Swing and a miss. Runs the count here, 2-1. Again, wind blowing, whipping from right field to left field. You can see them flags out there. As he takes for ball three, runs the count here, 3-1. One. A lot of damage happened here at the Duck Roost Diamond during Hurricane Ida, but that's not to hold our Gators back. 
throw a little duct tape and cardboard and get back to playing. Hoping that the school board can get these, uh, you know, get the, whoever, the, whatever company they get, can get our dugout ready over there and these poles and stuff fixed, signs up, windscreened, all that stuff. So, so bring up Austin Payne for the Bulldogs. Attempt to pick off at first. I didn't let y'all see that because it was a secret, but he was safe. So the Bulldogs with four hits on the night to the Gators one. If that was your son, please talk to him. So 1-0 count. And that gas hits $5, I don't, I don't think he'll be driving like that. So 2-0 count. Port's going to go have a talk with Moran. I want to thank the people that donated so far tonight. Jennifer Daniel, Arthur Downing, Christine Brignac, Stacy Ricca, Stacy Bourgeois, and Kelsey. Thank y'all for your contributions and support of Santa Mall Gator Athletics. Swing and a miss. Runs the count here, 2 1. So, 2 1 count, one out, runner at first. Gators trailing 2 0. We're in the top of the fourth. Attempt to pick off back in time, though. So he goes diving in at first. I would say we saw the dust fly, but there's no dust on turf. <laughs> so here we go, 2-1. Attempt to pick off again back in time. Calls strike two. So two two count, one out. Moran gets the signs. The wind up. The pitch. Swing and a miss. So two outs here. As it's going to bring up number 22, Jake Landry. I got to say it like that, y'all. That's what it sounds like to me. I'm Jake Landry when he was little. I'm Jake Landry. So, so Jake Landry up here for the Bulldogs. Runner goes. Ball's high. I can stand up. So 1 0 count here on Landry. Takes down low for a ball. Evens it. Oh, no, don't even count. Runs the count. 2 0. -oh. 
My ears are still popping from the airplane flight today. Gosh. Takes for a strike. So, 2 1 count. Here on Landry. Fouls it back to the track. Take that one inside. 3-1. Look to be a little low also. Oh, it's 3-2? He caught that straight? Oh, that's what it was, 3-2. I'm sorry, full count then. Here we go. I was behind. Fouls that one back. To the track. Go! Oh, look at all the kids going after that ball. It must have been like 20 of them. Must be giving them a free Coke or something. So, payoff pitch, full count, two outs. Ball hit right back to Moran. Moran's going to field it, run it down, throw the first, out number three. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Gators trail and Ascension Catholic Bulldogs, 2-0. I will be going mute right now. I got to go get me a cold drink, y'all. I'm thirsty. Be right back. All right, leading off here for the Gators in the bottom of the fourth, number nine, Trent Laporte. I got my Coca-Cola. I was parched. Fouls that one to the wrestling building. You ever been to a game, you know what a wrestling building is. Takes that one down low. Evens count here, 1-1. One, one. And folks, since I got here late, I, I wasn't able to, to pull my book out and keep the stat of what, who did what and all that stuff so far for the day. But uh, we'll do better. How about that? We'll do better. I was just rushing today. Oh, just a tad outside. Takes that one for a ball. Evens the count, 2-2. Two, two. Fouls that one off. So, 2-2 two, two count. Man, 
Air conditioning broke still? Hits that one second base. Second baseman feels the ball. Throws. Throws. Wow. Catches there to get it, though. So that's going to be an error on the second baseman there. He took that one like he was just going to go ahead and nonchalantly throw it over there to first, but it, it must have just whooped the dude out his hand and, and sailed it over to the on deck circle. Good thing the catcher was coming up behind and was able to get the ball. So who's running? Can't tell who's a courtesy runner. But uh, 22, Braden Billingsley up for the, the Gators. Number seven, Landon Stewart, courtesy running at first. Hits that one right field. Right field is going back, going back, going back. It's a wall banger. Still can't get it. Runner's coming around third. He's going to keep on coming. And Gators play the run there on that stand-up double by Billingsley. So that's going to bring up designated here, number 33, Isaiah E. Ziomiak. Our little Hawaiian connection. I want to say uh, Aloha Maui. Uh, well, I, Aloha to y'all, everybody out there in the islands. I know y'all uh, tuned in, checking. It's probably what? It's uh, right now, uh, what time is it here? It's 7.13, so it's probably 12 o'clock at y'all time, I guess. I don't know. Uh, during the daytime. But whatever it is, how y'all doing? So let's see what Omi I can do here. Fouls that one back too. Whoa, trips up on the ant pile. So 0-2 count on Omiot. Let's see if we get the bat around and find a hole somewhere. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. Gators trailing 2-1 to one to the Ascension Catholic Bulldogs. Gators with a runner on second with, with no outs. Attempted pick off. Throws it to center field. Center fielder said he got it. And he's going to go ahead and throw it on in. All right. Jake Landry said, you ain't throwing it past me in center field. So, I think that was a trick play. They probably threw it to Jake think, and that, to try to make the runner think he was going to run the third. And Jake said he was, then he was going to throw him out. But we didn't fall for it this time, you see. We didn't fall for that. We know what that trick play was. And swing and a miss. So, one out. So it's going to bring up number 32, Chase Kelly, for the Gators. He's the designated hitter. I said designated hitter, Isaiah. Isaiah, it, it, easy's playing shortstop. I don't know what I was thinking. <clears throat> so this is the DH right here. So it takes first pitch for a ball. So 1-0 count here on Kelly. That's a strike. Evens the count. 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> Have y'all seen such a beautiful feel ever? I mean, this thing is nice. Takes that one high. 2-1 count. Don't forget, folks, we got links at the top of the page. Venmo at DuckRoo Sports. PayPal at DuckRoo Sports. Cash app DuckRoo Sports. Swing and a miss. Evens account, 2-2. Two, two. All money collected goes to the Santa Mo High School Athletic Department, supporting all the sports at Santa Mo High School. So, 2-2 two, two count here with one out. Runner at second. Tend to pick off. He's back in time. Folks, go look on Facebook. Uh, I had a post there about the extravaganza. Santa Mo High School Booster Club extravaganza. If you have not bought a ticket yet, Get in touch with Coach David Oliver, david.oliver at APSB.org. Ball. Oh, what? He called it. God, the ball was in the dirt. All right, call strike three. So two outs now. 
That's going to bring up number 24, Cameron Plunch. But send him an email because Thursday will be the drawing. $5,000 first prize, 2000 second, I think 1000 for third, and then plus 10 other cash, smaller cash prizes as he takes for a strike. This is the number one big event that the Santa Monica Booster Club holds every year. Their big fundraiser. Swing and a miss, strike two. If you don't want to email Coach Oliver, send me a message and I'll get you in touch with Coach Oliver. We got to get all the tickets sold. We got to make sure 330 tickets are sold. And swing and a miss for strike three. We head to the top of the fifth. Gators leave one on base. Gators trailing here two to one. We'll be right back. All right, new pitcher on the mound for the Gators, number 22, Braden Billingsley. So Braden Billingsley on the mound now for the Gators. Number 11, Lex Melanson to lead off this inning for the Bulldogs. We got over 116 people watching, y'all. So if everybody just sent in a dollar, it would be much appreciated. But I do want to take a little time to thank Mr. Matthew Marrero. Thank you for your contribution and support of Santa Monica Gator Athletics. So one old count. We provide a pretty good little service, folks. We're just trying to raise money for the high school. If everybody sent a dollar each game, five dollar, two dollar, it all adds up at the end, y'all. If you don't have Venmo or PayPal, send me a message on Facebook, and I'll give you the address, and you can send it. You can mail a check too. We are a five hundred one c three not for profit organization. So the money that y'all send to me directly goes to the athletic department because I write the check right back to Santa Monica High School Athletics as he draws a walk. Now that is shortstop number 13, Brooks Leonard. Thank you, Jamie Villeneuve, for your contribution and support of Santa Monica Gator Athletics. So 
So tonight we thank Jamie Villner, Matthew Marrero, Jennifer Daniel, Arthur Downing, Christine Brignac, Stacy Rick, uh, Ricca, Kelsey and Stacy Boozewall. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. So now batting here for the Bulldogs, number 13, Brooks Leonard. As we got a runner there on first now. Squares around for Bunt. Pops it up. Goes back into the net, though. Good hustle there by Laporte. But 0-1 count here. <clears throat> what are we playing tonight? Seven? Okay, playing seven. All right. All them jamborees and stuff gets my mind all discombobulated. What the hell was that? Sounds like some If that's your teen that just now your teeny boppers, talk to them, please, y'all. Attempted pickoff back in time. Man, I didn't know what was going on. I thought somebody was getting murdered back there. They're in a car, passing by, screaming. Squares around for the bunt. Lays down the bunt. Billingsley grabs it, goes to two. So gets the leadoff runner at least. So not really what he probably what coach was uh, looking for there. And that's going to bring up number three, Bryce Leonard. So one out, runner at first. Leonard in the box, tend to pick off. Moran now at first base for the Gators. So all they basically did was swap first and pitcher. Yes, sir, Mr. Mike. We much appreciate you. So, oh, one count. Ms. Madeline Zerang, thank you for your contribution and support of Santa Mar Gator Athletics. Ms. Alicia Butler. Ball hit the second base, gets the out, throws the first, gets the second out. Oh, no, man. They could call him safe, so out at second, though. Thank you, Ms. Alicia Butler, $22, because 22 got a double as soon as she left the game. There you go. On two, 22, 22. Is this number 20? Yeah. 20. All right, so next up, batting for the Bulldogs, number 20, Jacques Husers. Coach over there having a discussion. I don't know what they're talking about. Something you almost not like something. Miss Amity, I got it. We will get you a ticket. I will talk. Uh, as soon as this game is over, I will call Coach O and tell him to assign one to you. So two outs here, runner at first. Billingsley on the bump for the Gators. Hughes is in the box for the Bulldogs. A 
Leaves that one a little high. 1-0 count. Another temp pickoff, safe. Don't forget, folks, tune in to Thursday night right here on Duck Crew Sports Network as the Santa Mall Boost Club is going to be going live with their extravaganza drawing. Ball hit the right field, right in the gap again. We getting ball, and they hit it. They hit it in that same gap every time. Like, I don't think the ball's hit anywhere else on the field by them except right center field. So that's going to. So Jackson Landry up here for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs going to have runners at second and third with two outs. Takes for a strike. Oh, one count. The tickets are one hundred dollars. Takes for a ball. If you if you can't swing the hundred, go on halves with somebody. Do fifty fifty with somebody, or or. Find four, three other people and everybody put up $25. I don't care if you get 100 people at a dollar a piece, you know. I mean, hey, let's go ahead and get them. Hits that one way high, but it's foul. I think it's going to hit the concession stand for the softball field. That was a huge hit, but he yanked that one all the way to the left. So one two count here on Landry. Takes ball outside. One cool Chris Benjamin. That's what the, those extravaganza tickets cost. But boy, where else can you win? Have a chance of winning five thousand dollars. Called strike three. And we head to the bottom of the fifth. Gators trailing the Bulldogs here of a score of two to one. And we're going to go back mute because music's playing. I don't want to get kicked off. So we'll be right back. Leading off here in the bottom of the fifth inning for the Gators. Number 10, Cole Poirier. So here we go. Takes first pitch for a strike on the outside corner there. Mm, 
Takes that one for a ball. Evens the count here. 1-1. One, one. And ball. I'd like to take this time to congratulate the Lady Gator basketball team on a great season this year. Hits that one right field. He, oh, man, he found the right fielder's glove. Right fielder ran right over about 10 steps and snagged it for the first out. The Lady Gators lost out in the second round last night to the West Monroe Lady Rebels in the second round of the playoffs. But but congratulations to, to, to Coach Bianca on a, on a great season this year. This is Lee Amity, number 25 for the Gators. Went to the game last night, and those, I tell you what, those girls, those Lady Gators, they hustle. They really do hustle. Leaves that one high for a ball. Evens the count here, 1-1. So once again, congratulations to them on a great season. I don't know how many bowling fans we have out there, but our boys and girls – Bowling teams, y'all notice sometimes come up on duck roosts, and I don't know the kids, and I don't know the game, but good luck to them on this season also. I know the powerlifting team had a powerlifting meet this past Saturday here at the Gold Dome, and uh, i seen some pictures people posted on Facebook. We had some Gators that did good, and congratulations to all of them also as well, and good luck to them all on there powerlifting season. I don't know if it's coming to the end or if it's starting or what. I really don't know. But anyways, good luck to them. So full count here on Amity. Fouls that one back. Count stays full. Our, lady, our Gatorettes just made their trip to Disney for the their little national competition didn't come out what they wanted, you know, but still a very good performance by them and a good outing. And congratulations to them. Fouls it back again. Good at bat here for Amity. But a huge congratulations to our cheerleading squad, world champions there at Disney this past year. Uh, so they got to come home again with a yellow, I mean, a yellow, with a white jacket. I don't know what the white jacket means, but it looks like it's something important because they all have one. So congratulations to them. As Amity draws the walk. Okay, we got a few power lifters headed to state, Jennifer said. That's good. That means we got some strong gators. So that means that all them weights in that building, way over there to your left, that last one on the left, all them weights in there ain't going to, to waste. And Coach Thomasy and his crew and all doing what they uh doing what they what they what they know to do. And that's get strong gators. That's we got a 0-1 count here on Lalonde. Number 11, third baseman. Evens the count here, 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. Ball from here looked like it was a little high, but we know we know we know them, them boys that they love them high heat. They, they could be swinging them at them. It's hard to teach a kid not to swing at that high heat. It just looks like a big old basketball coming. And a swing and a miss for the second out. And that's gonna bring up. Number 18, Ashton Ellis for the Gators. Let y'all look over that first base, too. Hits that one. That one's going to land on the wrestling building. Yep. So lots of good things going on here at Santa Monica High School as far as athletics. You got an eighth grader over there at Santa Monica Lake and Galvez. 
make sure if, if you got any type of questions about the athletics, get in touch with Coach. They'll let you know. So ball hit the shortstop. Throws it to second for the fielder's choice. We leave one on base. We head to the top of the six. Where our Gators trailing the Ascension Catholic Bulldogs two to one. But yeah, if you got a, a kid at any one of those feeder schools, don't let no other schools try to talk, uh, feed some bull about what they got. Because I tell you what, we got some fine things going on over here at Santa Monica High School. So we're going to head on over to a, a little mute session right now because the music's playing and I don't want to get kicked off. So leading off here for the Bulldogs, number 10, Leighton Melanson. And I did get confirmation the white jacket means they were first, world champs. So there we go. We got world champion cheerleaders here at Santa Mo High School. And if I'm wrong in saying that, prove me wrong. Here we go. Oh, takes that one high and in. I think Billingsley was saying, get up off my plate. Curveball falls in for a strike. Evens the count, 1-1. One, one. Fouls it back into the net. Tell you what, folks, this is a warm night here. Uh, I left New Orleans this morning. It was 76 degrees. My little app said that Dallas was going to be 60 degrees. We land in Dallas, and it was 43. Needless to say, I was cold in my short sleeve shirt as he takes for a ball 2-2. Strike three on that outside corner. He's going to go have a seat. So one out here. Nobody's Top of the six. It's going to bring up number two, Colin Brown. Hits that one real high. You're going to give Chase. Got plenty of room. Oh, lost it in the light of something or another. Coach there didn't try to do nothing to get out. He just stayed there. I mean, I, I know it's his box, but he stayed there. Oh. So, one strike here. All actuality. I just now saw the replay. Coach was not in his box. Coach moved up to his box after Moran done got there. Fouls that one back to Church Point Road. Coach maybe didn't see that or umpire didn't see that, but yeah, coach was back uh 
halfway between the box and the and the and the edge, the dirt. There is a reason why there is a box. So one two count here on Brown. Do I have any of my Hawaiian friends tuned in tonight? I didn't see anybody post. What about Miss Mary? Is Miss Mary watching tonight? That's what I would like to know. From Maui. Fouls that one to Church Point Road. Y'all, I swear. There has to be at least a minimal dozen balls on Church Point Road. Gotta be. Gotta be. At about $8 a ball, you do the math. Check swing. Hits the Lalonde. Lalonde throws it to first. Gets the out. So two outs here in the top of six. There's Miss Mary. Hey, Miss Mary. And aloha to you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> If I could afford it, Miss Mary, one day I'd go visit you, but I don't think I could swing the hair for her. <laughs> Taste for a ball. So two outs here. We're in the top of the sixth inning. Bulldogs leading the Gators two to one. Ball hit. Second baseman camps out. Amity makes the grab. Out number three. We head to the bottom of the six. Gators trailing two to one. Gators need to do something. Got two more at-bats to try to do it. So we'll be right back after this song finishes playing. Now on pitching for the Bulldogs, number seven, Trent Landry. Now leading off for the Gators, number nine, Trent Laporte. Gators have five hits. I'm sorry. Gators have two hits to the Bulldogs, five hits. Bulldogs with one error on the night. But nonetheless, Gators still trailing two to one. He takes first pitch for a ball. I don't know if they get Jude to get him out the ditch or not, but once they go in the ditch, who really wants it? That's a crap ditch. People's sewer, tank, their, their septics dump into that ditch. So once it goes in the ditch, the ditch can have it. Evens count here. It's 3-0? Yeah. All right, 3-0. I had to miss one somewhere. And draws the wall. What we really need is a big old tall net <laughs> that goes across from these light poles over here that... That can stop them balls from going over. 
just needs to be about 20 more foot taller than what we got here. So Landon Stewart, courtesy run in there for Laporte. As 22, Braden Billingsley comes up to bat for the Gators. Hits that one high. Second baseman's going over. Trying to make the ball's gonna drop. Stewart's gonna get in over there second. I don't it, it, if he didn't touch it, it ain't. I don't know if he touched it or not, I couldn't tell. That was a lot of ground to cover though, too. That looked like a base hit to me. So Runners at first and second. We're going to have a courtesy runner here for Billingsley, and that's going to be number eight. I think that's Lane Swanson. Yep. Courtesy runner, first base for Gators, number eight, Lane Swanson. So you got runners at first and second. No outs here. Gators trailing two to one. Number 33, Isaiah Easy Omiat up to bat for the Gators. This is our little Hawaiian connection right here. Squares around, pulls back, ball one. Miss Mary, send him a little good luck here. I walked in the in the, in the locker room the other day and I saw a flag. I said, I think that's the Hawaiian flag. Sure enough, it was a Hawaiian flag he got in there. <laughs> Get a little taste of home with him. So attempted pick off at second base. Back in time. Large crowd here tonight at the Duck Roost Diamond. Some people call it Gator Park. I still call it Duck Roost Diamond because that's what it always been until some years. Good hustle there by the catcher. Did a little Superman dive, but ball hits the net. Goes foul. 1-1 one, one count. I'm going to tell you all what's good. It's them little, I had some of them candies from Hawaii last year. It's like milk chocolate and Man, I don't know what kind of nut was. It might have been a macadamia nut or something on the inside of it. Cool. <laughs> Things were unbelievable. Oh, me out shows. Oh, a little slash bunt right there. Showed bunt, pulled back. Runners advance. Base hit in the gap. Gators got bases loaded. Number 32, Chase Kelly up here for the Gators with no outs. And we're going to have a timeout, Coach, uh, coach for um, Ascension Catholic. Got to go have a little talk here. So, great play right there. He showed Bunt. I mean, third baseman didn't charge or nothing, y'all. Because, uh, I mean, it was a, a runner at first and second. So, he just pulled it back and, and hit it. So, wasn't nothing really dangerous going to happen there. Uh because of the bunt coverage. Smashed it in between the shortstop and the third baseman to get bases loaded. We got no outs. Um, Landon's running at, Landon Stewart running at third for Trent Laporte who walked. And then uh, Lane Swanson's at second base running for uh, Braden Billingsley that hit a, he hit a ball off to your right hand side over there. Just outside the carpet, second baseman couldn't get underneath it good. And uh, the ball fell down for a base hit. And then just now, Isaiah Omiyot with a single in the gap right there between third and short. Pitching now for the uh, Ascension Catholic Bulldogs. They had a pitching change. They have number 10, Leighton, Leighton Malonso. Leighton, yeah, Leighton Malonso for the Bulldogs. And so the music is playing. I don't want to get kicked off. Let me go ahead and hit mute.
All right, so new pitcher on the mound, Malonson for the Bulldogs. Up, up in the box is going to be number number thirty-two, Chase Kelly for the Gators. Gators trailing here two to one, in the bottom of the six, but threatening here with bases juiced with no outs. Let's see what the Gators can do here, if they can capitalize on this situation. Takes first pitch outside for a ball. So 1 0 count here on Kelly. Sw fouls that one back, evens the count 1 1. So 1-1 one, one count. First baseman playing in. Takes for a ball. Runs the count here, 2-1. Wind looks like it's kind of blowing more out toward left. Almost center field. Ball hit the shortstop. Shortstop feels the ball. Throws the second, gets the first out, throws the first. He's safe at first as it pulled the first baseman off the bag. Run's going to score. Runners on the corners now with one out. So Kelly reaches on. Fielder's choice here. He's going to bring up number 24, Cameron Plunch for the Gators. As the score is tied up, 2-2 here in the bottom of the six. Gators with four hits on the night to the Bulldogs, five. Lays down a bunt, drag bunt. Oh, that, that's fair ball. That was on the line. Oh, my gosh, it looked like he picked it up on the line. Oh, wow. I mean, I, it might be my viewpoint, but I'll tell y'all what, folks. That ball looked like it was on the white when he picked it up. But but they're going to call it foul ball. So, 0-1 count here on Planche. It was a beautiful laydown. Takes that one high and inside for a strike. So, 0-2 count here on Planche. Takes for a ball. Runner's going to go. And they're not going to throw. And he's going to be safe at second. So, 1-2 count. Runner's at second and third for the Gators. We're all tied up here. 2-2 two -two in the bottom of the six. Batter in the box. Cameron Planche. Is to wind up the pitch and a swing and a miss drops for the third strike. No attempt to run the first. So we got two outs here. It's going to bring up number 10, Cole Poirier, for the Gators. With runners at second and third, two outs. Everybody, type in where y'all watching from. We'd like to love to see where everybody's watching from. I don't, oh, takes for a ball. I don't think nobody wants to type in because they're not going to be the winner. They know Miss Mary's the winner so far wa watching from Hawaii. Check swing, strike, 1-1 one, one count on Poirier. On deck for the Gators, Lee Amity. Ball outside. Runs the count, 2-1. Napoleonville. Mr. Mike, I know you're in Napoleonville now, but that ain't where you're from, I don't think. I think you're from Donsonville. <laughs> that might be where you're at now, Napoleonville. Squares around for a bunt. Lays it down. Pitcher gets the ball. Throws the first, and they're going to get him. 
So we head to the top of the seventh inning. We all knotted up here, folks. Two to two. From Captain Shreve. Tugboat on the Mississippi River. There we go. And Ryan Doty on the couch. <laughs> In his draws. <laughs> All right, folks. This is it right here, top of the seventh inning. I'll be right back to all this music's playing. All right, so we're back. Jason, I'm glad you and Captain Shreve. So number 22, Jake Landry leading off here for the Bulldogs. Yeah, I know it's a long drive up there to Shreveport. Done did that drive to Captain Shreve. It sucks. So takes for a strike. It's just nothing on Highway 40, on Interstate 49. It's just nothing. Every now, oh, it's a way foul to the bleachers over there by the track. 0-2 count. The only thing you see on that drive, every now and then you'll see a deer on the side of the road. That's about it. Ball hits second base. How many feels the ball? Throws the first. Oh, we can have an error. Drop ball there. So, error that first. Runner gets on. So, Lex Malonso on number 11 up the bat. Here for the Bulldogs, we got a runner at first. Reached on by error. Shows bunt. Hits it to Billingsley. Billingsley flips to first. Runner advances to second. One out here. Brings up number 13, Brooks Leonard for the Bulldogs. If y'all see something go across the, the, the screen, they got a, one of them big, old, them big old mosquitoes outside flying on the window. Attempted pickoff back in time, safe. So tied up 2-2, one out here in the top of the seventh. Brooks Leonard up to bat for the Bulldogs. Lays on it out one. It's going to get to left field. Left fielder comes up, throws. Runner's coming. Going to be a play at the plate. And he's out. No, oh, come on. I got to see that replay. I got to see that replay. They said he was safe. I, if he's safe, I'll tell you if he's, I mean, I know he's safe. They say he's, the umpire says he's safe, but. Let me see. Let me see. Here comes my replay. Ball comes in. He grabs the ball. Nope, he's safe. Hand got in. Yep, his hand got in. So, so Ascension Catholic goes up here three to two in the top of the seventh inning. We got a timeout. Coach Artigo going to have a talk with Billingsley. And I'm going to hit Paul uh, mute so we don't get kicked off.
All right. Up now for the Bulldogs, number three, Bryce Leonard. Bulldogs got a runner at second as they just now took the lead here in the top of the seventh, th leading the Gators three to two with one out. That big old Skeeter's bugging me. Swing and a miss. Don't forget, folks, we got links at the top of the page. Venmo at Duckroo Sports, PayPal at Duckroo Sports, Cash App, Duckroo Sports. All money collected goes to the Santa Mo High School Athletic Department, supporting all the sports here at Santa Mo High School. Uh oh, gonna get the runner safe at third. So one one count here. You only got a half inning left to get those donations coming in, folks, for tonight. Y'all sitting at home in your drawers, in your nightgowns, on the couch. Some of y'all drinking beer, some of y'all eating cookies and milk. We out here sweating. Bringing y'all the game. Let's see what see what we can do here. Swing and a miss. One two count. Also, don't forget if you're interested in one of those extravaganza tickets, get in touch with me. I'll put you in touch with Coach Oliver. I'm sure they got some left to sell. The drawing will be Thursday live right here on Duckroo Sports Network from six to eight. Foul ball, count stays, one, two. Take your chance to win $5,000. Only 330 tickets are being sold, folks, so that's a pretty good odds right there. That's way better odds than you buying a, a $100 worth of lottery tickets. So one, two count, one out, runner at third. Swing and a miss. So two outs now. So number 20, Jacques Husers up for the Bulldogs now with two outs. Pitchers number 22, Braden Billingsley for the Gators. Gonna take ball high and inside. So one zero count. And takes for a ball. Gators with some new uniforms this season. They got those white with black pinstripes. Pretty clean. It's hard to see from the camera, you know, but up close, man, they clean up close, golly. Come on, Braden. 3-0 count here on Husers. Runner on third, two outs. Takes for a strike. Runs the count, 3-1. If you think you might be interested in a ticket, email Coach Oliver, david.oliver at apsb.org. Swing and a miss. Or you can send me a message on Facebook to on the Duck Roo Sports Network page. Send me a message. Let me know if you're interested, and I will get you in touch with Coach Oliver so that you can claim your ticket so you have a chance, a 1 in 330 chance of winning $5,000 or 2000 or 1000 There we go. Swing and a miss, strike three. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Gators trailing the Bulldogs here, three to two. 
Gators got to come out and do something here. This is it. And we'll be right back after the music is done playing. So leading off here for the Gators here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Lee Amade, number 25. Gators got to score one to tie, two to go up. On deck for the Gators, number 11, Blaze Lalonde. As Amade takes for a ball. So 2-0 count. 3-0. They're going to pitch around him. They ain't going to throw a fat one down the middle for sure. Throw a fat one down the middle. Amity could change the game outcome real quick. Takes that one for a strike. And they know it too, so they kind of throwing around. Hits that one right center field. It's going to drop in for a base hit. Oh, you better get on back. All right, so he's going to stay in there for a single. It's going to bring up number 11, Blaze Lalonde for the Gators. On deck for the Gators, number 18, Ashton Ellis. The batter now, though, is Blaze Lalonde. With Amadie, the runner at first. Swing and a miss. So oh, one count. Hits that one left center field. That's trouble. That's trouble. Oh no. Leonard went back and made the grab. He was backpedaling like a defensive back for a long time. So now up to bat for the Gators, number 18, Ashton Ellis. Gators trailing here, three to two in the bottom of the seventh with one out. Gators with five hits on the night. Runner goes. Uh oh, and he's hung up. And they're going to get him. That's two outs. What were we doing? What were we doing? I don't know if he got a bad a bad jump or... I, I don't know. Don't know. So, 1-0 count here. But two outs. Gators trailing 3-2. to two. Takes for ball, 2 0. 3 0. On deck for the Gators, number nine, Trent Laporte. 
I think. Yeah. Takes for a strike. Runs a count. 3-1. Fouls that one over. Almost a church point rule. So full count here. Payoff pitch. Two outs. Gators down by one. This is the pitch. And going to draw the walk. So runner at first, Trent Laporte comes up to the plate for the Gators. So tie and run at first base with two outs here. Takes for a ball. Gators with one error on the night, and that's the factor right now. That's the run that came across. So, runs the count here, 2-0. Coach is going to go have a talk with his pitcher. I don't know how the picture is. I know my computer off to the right-hand side, uh, like from the dome area and all, it does look kind of hazy but y'all got to remember I am filming through plexiglass, plexiglass not real glass not, it's plexiglass uh, the windows don't open up here in, in here so I apologize it is what it is one day I might get out here with some Windex and try to polish up where the camera goes but uh, that's, that's what we got Got to put the plexiglass, though, because uh, baseball hit it. You don't want no uh, glass falling down on the spectators. Uh, this takes for a ball, runs the count here, 3-0. So hitters count, 3-0. On deck for the Gators, number 22, Braden Billingsley. I know he has a double on the night so far. He hit one to the right center field wall. Uh-oh, they almost throw that one to right field. First baseman saves it. Run, uh, runner dives back in safe. So, 3 1 count here on Laporte. Got, oh, Mr. Blue. That was over the other, the other uh, batter's box. Like, that was over the white line of the other batter's box. All right, whatever. Full count. Full count here on Laporte. Sometimes the plate's not 17 inches. Sometimes it's 23 inches. Attempted pick off at first back in time. So payoff pitch. Full count, two outs. Runner goes and going to hit, get hit. So that's going to bring up number 22, Braden Billingsley, up to the plate here for the Gators. Wind blowing hard off to the le toward the left center field. As you see those flags back there. He does have a double on the day for sure that I remember. He hit it to right center field like almost a little wall banger type. And uh, let's see if he can get another one of those. You get another one of those and that's going to be a walk off. But just get a base hit. That's all we want. We'll take a base hit right now. We need runners. Runners equal runs. So we need them. Two outs. 0-1 count here on Bill. Leaves it higher. Like a tad in to even the count here. 1-1.
On deck for the Gators, number 16, Connor Moleson. Takes ball low. 2-1 count. So, 2-1 count, two outs, runners first and second. If you're not biting your nails yet, you need to start. If you already bit all your fingernails, get on your toes. Ball hit right field. Way right field. But the right fielder goes over and makes the grab. And that's going to be the ball game, folks. Gators go down to the Ascension Catholic Bulldogs. Final score of three to two. Thank you all for tuning in tonight, and we will have more Gator baseball coming to you live this week. Also, tune in Thursday for the Santa Mall Booster Club extravaganza raffle drawing from six to eight right here on Duck Roo Sports. So that's it, folks. Gators go down, score three to two on five hits and one error. And no matter what, still a great day to be a Gator. We're out.